My 15 bean soup with ham recipe is easy and delicious. With a big meaty ham bone to make it hearty and flavorful and potatoes and vegetables to make it filling, this soup is the perfect example of how you can turn leftovers into classic comfort food. Let's go over the ingredients. Besides the beans, the most important part of this recipe is definitely the ham bone. Here I have a bone that is from a ham shank from the holidays. You can use a leftover Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, or just Sunday dinner ham. It does have a good amount of meat. I weighed it. It's just under two pounds, about 868 grams. I want it to have a good amount of meat because the meat is going to add protein and make the bean soup really feel like a full meal. But most important of all is the beans. So as you might expect, I am using a mixture of beans, but 15 beans is actually a specific mixture of beans sold by a company here in the United States. The company is Hearst. Their products are available in a lot of supermarkets. Uh, their 15 beans come in a variety of flavors because in addition to the beans, they're sold with a small packet of spices like this one. Some of them are Cajun, some of them are labeled as spicy. There are a lot of different flavors. I'm not gonna use a flavor packet, but you can if you want to. This bag was 20 ounces, so one pound, four ounces, 567 grams, so a little over a pound. Although I don't think you have to, I did soak my beans. What I did is something called a hot soak, so I brought this pot of water to a boil without the beans, and then I added the beans when it came to a boil. And I turned the heat off, I put the lid on, and it's been sitting for about an hour. So they're definitely softer than they were. Maybe not as soft as if they had soaked for longer, but one hour is okay. Honestly, there are a lot of ways to go about making beans. Some people swear by soaking them. Some people say it's not necessary. My opinion is that I can't tell the difference in terms of flavor, but in terms of cooking time, unsoaked beans take about 30 more minutes. But other than that, I really can't tell the difference. So whether you, you soak your beans or not, you can still make this recipe. And another ingredient I wanted to mention was my homemade vegetable stock. I have about three cups. As always, I brought garlic, onion, celery, carrot, and bay leaf to a boil, and then turn it down to a simmer for two hours. The secret ingredient is the bay leaf. Now the first step in making the soup is bringing the pot with the ham bone to a boil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it to a boil on its own without the stock and without the beans because this ham bone, I know it's full of flavor and meat, but it looks like it has some fat on it. So I'm gonna bring this pot to a boil first and see if some of the fat comes off. And I'm gonna skim the pot because I'm trying to make it semi-healthy. I just finished boiling the ham bone on medium heat for 15 minutes, flipping occasionally so that it could cook evenly. So I'm gonna turn down the heat to low and I'm gonna use my measuring cup to remove some of that water. Like I said, I am pre-boiling my ham bone so that I can take off some of the fat because I don't want this soup to be too fatty. I set the pot with a fatty water off to the side, just in case I change my mind about it in the future. I'm gonna take my vegetable stock, pour it in, and then I'm gonna add my chopped onion and garlic. So this is one medium onion chopped and maybe five large cloves of garlic. I am going to Bring this pot to a boil again just to give the garlic and onion a little bit of a head start and then I'm going to add in the soaked 15 beans. 
And now that the garlic and onions have come to a boil, it's time to add my beans. So I'm actually going to turn down the heat a little bit just in case the splashes. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I am not pouring off the water. I do not pour off the water in which I soak my beans. So everything is just going to go in. As you can see, the pot came close to overflowing, but it did not overflow. It is pretty full, so when you add your vegetable stock or any extra water, just be mindful of what's in the pot. I would recommend not soaking your beans in too much water because then that's going to go into the pot and like I said, you don't want it to overflow. I'm going to bring these to a boil on high heat. Then I'm going to turn the pot down to medium and I'm going to cook my 15 bean soup and the ham bone for probably about an hour or so before I add the vegetables. The beans have been boiling on medium heat for one hour. They are definitely on their way to being done. So now I'm going to add the vegetables. Here I have one large stalk of celery, two medium carrots, and three small potatoes that are about, I'd say, this size. One red potato and two yellow potatoes. I tried to dice the vegetables to be about the same size. The potatoes are a little bit bigger. And I am just going to drop these in now. In addition to the potatoes, carrots, and celery, I'm also going to add one 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I'm just gonna mix this in and I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna taste it and see if it needs any seasoning. It's been about 15-20 minutes since I added the potatoes and other vegetables. I tasted the broth, it's good, the vegetables are cooking, but I am going to take out the ham bone now because I want to be able to pick off the meat. I took off the meat, so here is the meat that came off the ham bone. I measured it and it's a little over a pound. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chop up this meat and then add it back to the soup, add some seasonings, and it's done. If your ham bone doesn't have much meat, then you could buy a ham steak cut it into small pieces and add it to the soup at this point in the recipe. It really doesn't need any spices, but I'm gonna add some. One teaspoon each of black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. I put a little bit of the soup off to the side and tried it with some spices sprinkled in, and I liked it, so I'm gonna add a little bit, but honestly, it's not necessary. But this does need a little bit more water. There are a couple schools of thought with seasoning soups and stews. Some people say to season the soups and stews at the beginning so that the spices can soak into everything. Some people say to wait until the end because you don't want to put in a lot in the beginning and then as the water evaporates and the soup concentrates it ends up being too much pepper or too much salt or whatever so I usually wait until the end especially if I've never made something before I haven't really noticed a difference but one thing you do have to be careful of is adding too much salt the ham bone gave the soup plenty of salt so make sure that you taste it before adding any additional salt I honestly doubt you'll need to add any but like I said, just taste it first because you don't want to oversalt your soup. I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit, add a little more water because I want a good amount of broth, and then it's time to eat. When the soup was finally done, I couldn't wait to try it. Seeing all the types of beans, the vegetables, potatoes, and ham, this looked delicious. My 15 bean soup with ham is now done. After I added the beans, the soup cooked for two hours on medium heat. And when I took my first bite, I knew that my 15 bean soup with ham on the stovetop recipe was a big success because this was absolutely delicious. In fact, with all the bean recipes I've made, this was probably one of my favorites. 
I like it so much because the mixture of beans gave this a combination of flavors that you don't get from making a pot of just one type of beans like pinto or navy. The ham bone not only seasoned the broth with salt, but also added smokiness in the background that complemented the beans and other flavors perfectly. And with the added protein from the meat that came from the ham bone, a bowl of this soup definitely felt like a full, satisfying meal. I also liked the additional vegetables. Not only did they add flavor and color, but they also made it more filling, especially the chunks of potatoes. I was also really glad that I added the can of diced tomatoes. I honestly think it might have been the secret ingredient. A lot of southern style bean recipes call for adding something acidic, like apple cider vinegar or hot sauce. And I think that the diced tomatoes added just enough acidity in the background to bring out the flavors. So like I said, I really enjoyed this bowl of soup. Although I made my soup on the stove top, I'm sure you can make it in an instant pot or in a crock pot too. And I think you could add whatever vegetables you have on hand. Sweet potatoes, canned corn, whatever you have, put it in there. The only thing I wanted to point out is that although I was glad that I boiled the ham bone at the beginning to get off some of the fat, it did cut down on the smoky flavor a little bit. So if you absolutely love smokiness in your pot of beans, don't pre-boil the ham bone. I just pre-boiled the ham bone to remove some of the fat, but if you don't want to do that, you can make a ham bone stock and then add your beans and everything else directly to it. Like I said earlier in the video, 15 Bean Soup is actually the name of a product sold by a company that has a determined mix of beans. The mix includes lima beans, pinto beans, split peas, a lot of things. But if you don't have access to that product, you can still make this soup. Just use pinto beans or navy beans. I think that would probably be the best or a mixture of beans that you come up with. on. So if you're looking for some comfort food and you have a leftover ham bone from the holidays or Easter, you want to try something new, make this recipe. I know you'll like it. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.